Hello everybody, this time I gonna make a closet for in our toilet. I learned a lot of things during the making of this closet. One of the things I learned was watch out for kickback. It will destroy your dearest belongings when you are at the wrong place at the wrong time. Giving support is the right way to go. The next step is cutting all the pieces to the right size. Everything, except the sliding doors, is made of MDF. The sliding doors itself are made from plywood. The closet itself must comply to the following specifications. It must be sturdy. You don't want the closet to come down on your head when you are enjoying the daily pleasures. The closet must be hanged to the wall through the sides. The first reason is there is no back. The second reason, there are wall tiles at the back where I don't want to drill into. The closet must be easy to disassemble. This primarily for the future painting jobs. I use a scrap piece to check the width of the slot where the doors will slide in. I turn the scrap piece and run it a second time over the saw to ensure the slot is in the middle of the piece. The slot in the upper piece must be deeper than the lower one to easily assemble and disassemble the doors. Maybe you saw the plans laying around my workshop. They were made in SketchUp. It is the first time that I bring the drawing process in SketchUp to a good end. So my experience of using SketchUp is very positive. While drawing you can see problems in the design that otherwise arise when you are in the building process. There was also another thing I realized when I was drawing. There are a lot of pieces in this design. This are all the components of the closet. The lower shelf rests on an edge. The edge has a piece of MDF glued in a slot made by the router for the short pieces and the table saw for the long ones.
The rail at the back side on the bottom shelf serves two goals. One is aesthetics and the second one is to prevent bending of the shelf under the load of the content of the closet. The closet will be hanged with the French cleat system. I cut the 45 degrees with my 45 degree jig. I made another jig to clamp the supports while gluing. The normal clamps I use could not get the job done due to the 45 degree angles. And then I will save you the huge amount of movie content where I am sanding and painting. The first coat is a base coat, diluted with water to get a good penetration in the paint in the porous side of the MDF, followed by a second coat all over the closet. And the last step was painting everything black in three coats. Of course, I sanded between every layer of paint. Thank you for watching and I hope I inspired you. Till next time!